Hi guys, it's Daniel here, and in preparation for the Amy 2, I'm going to do the Amy 1 of this year, problem number 4. So let's first read the problem. A right prism with height h has bases that are regular hexagons with sides of like 12, and we want to take a vertex A and its three adjacent vertices to make a triangle py pyramid. And we want to find the dihedral angle, which is the angle between the two planes formed by the face of the pyramid that lies on the base of the prism and the face that does not contain A. And the, this angle is 60 degrees, and we have to find H squared. So first, of course, we need to draw a diagram. And thankfully, I already drew a diagram, like so. Oops. I guess I'll just leave it there. And so now we have that the, well, the face that's lies in the base of the prism is the yellow one, and the face of the pyramid that does not contain A is the green one. I'm not exactly sure if you can visualize it, but the tr triangular pyramid is essentially just this thing. This thing. Uh, where this face, this face, and uh, this face are the face faces that are pointing towards you, and the other two faces are the ones away from you. So we want to find this angle. I'll do it in a different color. This angle. Which and or actually we know that this angle is equal to 60 degrees and we want to find h squared. So how might we go about doing that? Well, first we want to need to know the how, how the dihedral angle is defined. So a dihedral angle happens when this line is right angles with this crease right here. And this, this second line is also right angles with the crease with respect to the face that they're on. So when we take this apart, this top face, we want to take the height right here as the first ray, I guess, that we measure the angle with. And for the second face, which I'll draw right here, we do a similar thing. We take the right angle right here as the ray. And we want to find the angle between these two. So to do that, let's take, let's cut this pyramid through this, the plane that this angle lies in. So basically just imagine taking a knife and cutting this uh, triangular pyramid exactly in half, such that it follows along this line. So if we do that, then we get a triangle, like this. And this is 60 degrees. So. I drew it so that this triangle is a right triangle, but is it actually a right triangle? We have to find out, right? So the question is, is this 90 degrees? And if we look at our original diagram, and let's just draw this line right here, then, oh, well, clearly it's 90 degrees because the height, uh, the edge formed, the uh, edge that's the height is 90 degrees from the base, right? That's always true of every rectangular prism or non-oblique prism. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what the terminology is, but anyways, the point is that this is 90 degrees. It's, it's pretty obvious. If it's like not that obvious to you, you can just extend this and look, it's, this is definitely 90 degrees. So now we know that this is 90 degrees, which is pretty nice because it tells us that this is 30 degrees. And what does that tell us? This is a special triangle, 36 to 90 triangle. So now we know the actually we know the ratios of the side lengths. And that's good because what we want is the side length, which is h, and we have another side length. So now all we need to do is somehow use this triangle to relate 12 and h. So then we can find h squared. So how will we do that? Well, this side is h. So what we want is another side. The hypotenuse is not very easy to find because it's some random space diagonal from one point to some random point in the middle of the base of this uh, hexagonal prism. 
So let's see if we can find this instead, which corresponds to this side length right here. And how might we find that? Well, now let's look at the hexagon itself. So let's draw the hexagon out like so. And it appears that we want to find the length of this. And we know that this is 12. So how will we do that? Well, thankfully, we have another nice triangle. This is clearly 9 degrees. So we have this triangle right here, 12. What's this angle? Well, since it's half of 120 degrees, which is the angle of a regular hexagon, this is 60 degrees. And lo and behold, we have yet another 30, 60, 90 triangle. And this time we know the sine length of 1, which is 12 as the hypotenuse. So using the properties of a 30, 60, 90 triangle, we find that this is 6. So now we know that this thing, which is exactly what we were trying to find, has length 6. So that means this right here has length 6. So what does that mean for H? Well then using the properties of a 30, 60, 90 triangle, we find that H is just 6 times the square root of 3. So that means H squared is equal to 36 times 3, which is equal to 108. And that is our answer. Hi guys, Daniel here, and today we're going to do, as a practice for Amy, an HMMT problem from HMMT February 2016 Jiang